Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to export images from SQL Server table to file system using SSIS. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how can we export multiple images from a SQL Server table to file system using SSIS. So let's jump to the demo. So in my last video I have shown you how to import the images from a file system to a SQL Server table using SSIS and we imported the images to the images folder here okay in the image data we have the images and the images are stored in the where binary format and these are the names of the images so i imported three images and now i want to export these images back to the file system so that we can just take a look if the export can work fine okay so uh, this is our location the images were placed at this location those i imported and now I want to export the images to this location D files export folder okay so I will be using SSIS for this one so let me open the SSIS package here so this is my blank SSIS package that I will be using today and before continuing on this one let me show you the query that I written and uh, let me place the query here so we will be exporting the data to this particular location so we will select the image data and the image name and we will append the path before the image name so if i execute this particular query so this is the image data and this is the file path that will be exported okay now i can go back to the exercise package so this is my blank exercise package and because we want to export the data so we can use the data flow task here so i can just drag and drop the data flow task into the control flow window and then I can just double click the data flow task because we want to read some data from the SQL server table so we can use the OLEDB source here so I can just drag and drop the OLEDB source here and uh, I can just configure the OLEDB source I need to make a new OLEDB connection manager so I can click new we already have a connection manager to the test database so I will select this connection manager and I can click on ok from data access mode we can select the SQL command because we want to write the SQL query inside the OLDB source so I can copy the SQL query from here and I can paste it here if you check the column so we got two columns image data and the image path so I can click on ok now to export the images from the image data we can use the export column so if you write export here so there is an export column so I can just drag and drop into the data flow task and I can connect the OLDB source with the export column now you can right click on the export column click on edit now from the extract column you can select the image data and from the file path column you can select the path column and you can leave rest of the columns as it is and then you can just click on ok so our SSIS package is ready to be done now if you click on start button then it should read the image data from the SQL server table and should export the images to the export folder in the file system so let me open the export folder and you can see that the images have been exported from SQL server table to the file system so these were the images those I actually imported in the last video and I will share the link like how you can import the images to the SQL server in the description of this particular video so that you can just take a look on both the videos like how you can import the images and how you can export the images I will share this particular code with you like how you can export it yes yeah, so I think that's it for today's video Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button. Do subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.